What's up, stupid movie lovers? I'm Drew Marvick, the writer and director of Pool Party Massacre. And the boys here at Stupid Movies have quite possibly one of the stupidest movies ever to review today. It's my movie, Pool Party Massacre. So let's find out what they had to say about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have found out what they had to say about it before I agreed to do the intro. That would have been smart. Well, let's see if they hate it, shall we? It's a stupid movie! Jeebus! Episode 147. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we are watching... Pool Party Massacre! What? I got me a nice signed Blu-ray here from the cast and the director. You got a disc signed by a porn star. Hey, never thought I'd be able to say that. Pool Party Massacre. Yeah. Episode... Uh, no, we already did that. <laughs> 2 PS. 2017. Yep. Not rated, mm -hmm. 81, 82 minutes long, something ish. like that, yeah, somewhere ish, that, somewhere, yeah. somewhere in that vicinity. It's winter out, and it's snowing and icing, and we wanted a fun... Where's my car stuck today? <laughs> right? <laughs> we wanted a summer-esque movie, yeah. so we went to the pool and party. So we watched a movie that was filmed in the middle of winter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is directed by Drew Marvick. Woot! Starring Alexis Adams. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mark Justice, mm -hmm. Leanna Vamp, mm -hmm. and Drew Marvick himself. Ah, yeah. I liked him. Me too. He's probably my favorite part yeah. of the movie. Man, just like a carousel, mm -hmm. Steve Rzisky directed that was our favorite there part There we of the movie. go. There we go again. Just like Slaughter Drive, <laughs> Ben Deals, who directed it, was our favorite part of the movie. Seems to be a theme for us here. Yeah. So this movie is about this uh, rich girl. Ugh, yeah. Who, uh, her parents are going out of town for the weekend, and they let her have a pool party, and all of her bitchy rich friends come over. Snob snobs. And someone starts killing them one by one. I like the parents. Yeah, right up do. front, yeah. the dad's like, no threesomes. And the mother's like, you're being too strict. If it hadn't been for threesomes, we never would have met. The dad was like, oh yeah, that's a good point. Okay, no devil's threesomes. I'm not sure I would tell that to my daughter. Oh, I totally will. Yeah, so it's kind of a kind of an '80s kind of throwback per se, not visually, kind of like Slaughter Drive, but has that vibe, you know? Yeah. They uh, they really play on the tropes and the cliches. The setting of this movie was awesome. Yeah. You know, like this I don't know, rich type looking house with a sweet backyard with a pool. Yeah, it was like a, a mini mansion basically with yeah. a pool and uh, yeah. uh, it was a nice looking house, man. I want to fucking move in there. I would be cool. With I just that. don't want to pay the bills. Yeah, but... tax the bills, man. <laughs> oh. I can only imagine, but Ooh. it's pretty sweet. It almost. Felt like a porn set at times. Oh, it totally. Like, I could see like, a Brazzer scene being filmed there. From the camera and the angles and the people in it, this felt like it could be a porno. Like, <laughs> right. if, it, if instead of killing people, he had been whipping his dick out and fucking him with it, this would have been a porno. It right? was literally, yeah. it was just right there. And yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah, no, no, that's not a bad thing. No. We just, it was something we uh, noticed. Yeah. That, we thought it was kind of funny because, you know, porn these days is all nice and crisp and filmed really well and the budgets are high. And crisp? What the look of it. How about lube it up if it's crisp, <laughs> Crispy. Man. I love the intro. Oh, the, man. The credit sequence at yeah. the beginning, it was done in like this 8-bit 80s style. That was so cool. I love that yeah, kind of artwork. Kind of had that kind of music to go with it. It yeah. kind of... After the intro, you know, the credits play, and it's like a punk metal type song. But right. It kind of incorporates kind of that, I don't know what you call it. Uh, metal punk. Well, no. But I, I mean, you know, incorporate the 8-bit video game sounds. Oh, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, kind of yeah. what it looked like. It was kind of a video game. I don't know. I thought that I thought that was cool, man. I like the simplicity of the story. It, it was just that. It was yeah. boom, these snob rich bitches are having a party. And, uh, and they're getting killed. And they're getting killed. But then there's a twist at the end, which I like. I thought it was I cool. like. The twist. Yeah. You know what? It wasn't telegraphed. It wasn't obvious. Nope. But it made perfect sense. That's how you do it correctly. Yep. I agree. M. Night uh, Shyamalama Lama needs to watch this. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. Him. He needs to watch this and pick up how to properly do a twist. Yes. Drew Mara teach Shyamalama Ding Dong how to do these mm. things, man. That was cool. You know, it was shot really well. For being an indie, it is an indie movie. Yeah. You know. Uh, the quality was good. The quality was really good, yeah. man. It shot well. Okay. Um, the killer was fucking awesome. He was hilarious. He was on point. Yeah. Um, 
even before they show who he is, like a lot of it's POV shots of him uh, doing the killing, so you can't see who it is. But even that, he's funny. He manages to be funny through all of that without talking. Right. Like, through body language and through, like, every time he makes a kill, he has to switch out for a new murder weapon, yeah. and it shows him putting the old murder weapon back one. and grabbing a new one. That was fucking hilarious. In fact, there's one scene where he has he's going for a certain kill with a certain weapon, yep. and he gets sidetracked yep. because somebody else shows up. That he, he has goes, to kill someone else. Got to kill, and then he goes back and gets another <laughs> weapon to kill this other person. And with. you can almost feel the disappointment coming off of him that he had to waste that murder weapon on this character who doesn't matter. He's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. And to go with that, there's a lot, you get uh, a handful of POV shots from the game. Yes. Which I love that kind of stuff. Again, 80s vibe with that. And you can kind of see him watching, you know, and then you hear him breathing just a little bit. And I love that. I and, think that's great. And you know, every kill was unique and inventive. None true. of them were throwaway kills. Each one he used a different murder weapon, a different style of murder. That's true. That was really cool. You yeah. don't see that. Usually like, okay, Jason is 90% of the time a machete. machete right. 10% of the time brute force. Right. And, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Right. But this was really interesting. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to kill you with a two foot long screw gun. Right. No, yeah, no kill drill. the same. Yeah, I mean, you get a big ass <laughs> drill, you get hammers, you pruning get sledgehammer, shears. pruning shears, axes, pickaxes, yep. weed whackers, man. It was great. Everything uh, was different. Gardening tool. Yes. You know, the, yeah. And I really, really appreciate that. that yeah, everything that's was different. It didn't, yeah, it, did, it wasn't repetitive. And, yep. that, you know, sp and speaking of that, I mean, there was some good gore in this. Yeah. And the special effects, man, I mean, they, they look good. Uh, I'd say 99 and a half. All but one of them looks really good. Um, <laughs> which we, we kind of questioned, though. So, I mean, yep. or at least I did. I, I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but they, they look good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. I like the gore. No, it was really cool. The gore yeah. was nice in this. Definitely. It was funny. It was funny. Without being obnoxious about being funny. Right. Most of the time. Most of the time. And yeah, some of the jokes, I thought, especially... They the landed end, really well. Yeah, when, when the killer was revealed. Yeah. And he's, he's hilarious, I thought. The beginning of the movie and the end of the movie were really, really funny. Yeah. Both sides. Because the parents, everything with the parents, oh man, yeah. they were fucking great. Um, and then with the killer at the end was really, really funny, yeah. too. I love how they were just lighthearted about the whole thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a scene where there's, like, a body behind the door, and the girl opens it, and it falls on her. You know, what does that remind you of? 80s. Oh, my, and, and he and even, like every, he even says, like, every, you can't watch an 80s horror movie without a body falling on you when you go through a door. He's like, now I know why. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. I love that. And he had some other great lines there, too, you yes. know. And, uh, man, it was, just, it was fun. It was fun. You know, the, the acting was pretty decent in this. For I, what it is. Yeah. I mean, they did, you know, the snobby girls. Uh, I hate snobby bitches. So here's my question, and you've seen the behind the scenes stuff. I haven't. Right. This goes one of two ways. Either they are really good actresses. Right. <clears throat> or they're really stupid and they weren't acting. I really, really bought into every one of the characters. Oh, yeah. That, yes, this is who you are, with the exception of one character. Right. We'll talk about later. All the rest of them, I really bought into that's who you are. Right. So if they're just flat-out acting, which I think they were... I think so. Wow, holy shit, good job. Yeah, no, it was, If it was, you really are that stupid, please, please don't breed. And they no, had a they porn did star good. in it, too, which uh, that's always amusing. And she acted really well, and too. she did really well, so... Like, you know, good on you, you're... you're Good for more than just spank bank material. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, speaking yeah. of spank bank, there were boobs in this movie. As we all know, Adam likes boobs. He does indeed. He does. Yep. Yep. Uh, it, it was nice. There were two. couple. Yep, yeah, two. Yeah. Well, I mean four, but you know, mm -hmm. two girls uh, get topless, one and that cup. was nice. One, one, one cup. cup. <laughs> two girls, one cup. At this part of the episode, this is where you go to YouTube and type up "nerf herder pervert," and you'll learn a lot about Adam. I'm a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, I'm sorry about your teddy bear. The music was pretty good. The music was awesome. Punk metal stuff. The score yeah. was good. Yeah. Um, you know, it kind of had kind of that kind of eighty sound a little bit. They utilized along with the score the the you know the little zingers or stingers, whatever you call them. Stingers, yeah. Yeah, you know where it's like you see the leg of the killer. It's like bam. Those were pretty cool. Yeah, they utilized that really well. I I love the campy feel of it. Yeah. You know, I, love I that. no, I love the campy vibe. I love campy eighties movies. Sure. And nineties movies and even camping movies now. So hey, no! I love the artwork. I mean, look at this. 
mean, it is beautiful. Sweet artwork. I mean, I, it's I, almost. It's too bad you've got signatures off. Here, look, the, look at this one instead. Yeah. It doesn't have signatures on. That got, is beautifully done. Yeah, and I got another shirt somewhere too. I got the po I, poster stickers, koozies. Yeah. They hook you up. You know, yeah, and I love that man. They did very good on the artwork for this. Where is the poster? I think right yeah. Oh yeah, right, right. <laughs> it's right by him. Looking at me. She's staring at you. You know. Is there anything that we there were is. too fond of? Yes, there is. Okay, okay I'm going to start this off because... Yeah, because I'll, I'll say straight up, there's not a whole lot I dislike about this movie. No. I'll flat out say that. Me either. And the things that I don't like are... A lot of it comes with the indie aspect again. I know. And I think a big chunk of it is I liked so much of this movie that these things really, stand really out. stand out. Yeah. First of all, Clay. The character The character Clay. of Clay. Fuck him. Just absolutely fuck him, take him out of the movie, and it's a better movie. But he may want you to do that to him. But he's one of those characters that it's not gonna fly with everybody, and you know it didn't work. It, it, but you know he don't like him. You know I, I mean I wasn't a huge fan of him, but I didn't hate him as much as you did. This guy, man, I just want to like cut his dick off and shove it in his mouth so he quits talking. Right. Like every <laughs> frame that he was on, I was just like, ugh, ugh, ugh stop. Especially. Especially, and this slowed the movie down so much that it hurt, where Clay's talking about Ferris Bueller's day off and how Ferris Bueller is all a figment of their imagination and Cameron's the only real person in the movie and it just didn't work. It annoyed the fuck out of me. And it ends with that. <laughs> yeah, no, there is a, a few scenes that kind of slow the movie down, kind of in the middle, mm -hmm. more so than anything, that kind of drag on a little longer than I think they need to be. A lot of, you know... And most of them have motherfucking clay in them. Yeah. I'm just saying. The whole masturbating in the bathroom could have been really funny had it not been like 10 minutes worth of plot. You don't like good humor. <laughs> I love good humor. <laughs> clay wasn't good humor. Yeah. Um, and then, there, you know, just a few continuity errors. Yeah. Or issues. You know, I thought the editing was good overall. But just a few things like, you know... A hole, hole in the wall. wall wasn't there after yeah. the fact. I like what you said, too. Oh, the killer must have patched you. What a nice guy. <laughs> all right, so that's all we just, I mean, nitpicks yeah. more than anything. Mainly um, Clay. Fuck him. <laughs> right? But don't. <clears throat> no. Um, You'll probably get something. <laughs> Syphilitis or something. Tetanus. <laughs> Tetanus. I liked it. Yeah. I love this Go watch movie. It. I, 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 I highly recommend this movie. Yeah. I think it's a fun indie. I'd put it up there with The Barn and, you know, Slaughter Drive and all that, Carousel. You know, it's a fun one, man. Um, so I would definitely recommend this. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 8. Yeah. You know, um, you know it's funny because you mentioned uh, Slaughter Drive and, and Carousel and, and The Barn. And all of those are indie movies. Yep. And all of them I gave a 7 out of 8 to. Right. Because they all are really, really good. And they had just little, little things stopping them from moving to that next level. And I'm going to say the exact same thing about this one. It's a 7 out of 8. It is Solid. really, really good. And you've got just these little things. I really hope you do a part 2. And you address those issues because it'll be an 8 out of 8. Just a quick little uh, public service announcement from Justin Timpain. Who oh, yeah. he did the Ninjas vs. series, uh, and we helped support that way back in the day. Yep. Got a message from him. They're looking for support to do a new movie called Cancelled, and it's about a person who realizes that they're a character in a sitcom. Uh, go over to their website is getcancelled.com, and you can help them. You know, help support, support that them. movie. Give them, throw them a couple of bucks. Yep. And uh, maybe throw them some money. They'll put you in the credits. They did us. Yep. If you want to, and I highly suggest that you do, if you want to pick up Pool and Party Massacre, go to uh, PoolPartyMassacreStore.com. Yeah. Go there. Uh, oh. Pick it up. That You know, you can get stuff signed. You can get posters. You can get koozies. You can get stickers. You can get shirts. You can, uh, There's probably other stuff, too. Obviously, we're going to shout out Drew Marvick on Instagram. Hell, yes. And I believe it's just at Drew Marvick. So give him a holler. Tell him you love his movie. That you support it. Hey, tell them Super Movie sent you, you know. Hey, hey. So, hey, you can check us out at Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or on Instagram at at Stupid Movies. You can see me at the Horror Punk at Dr. Sketch Turner. If you want, you can email us Stupid Movies at Outlook.com. Or you can check us out on Twitter. I don't think, I don't I don't think we have a Twitter. I don't Shit. think we have a Twitter. Fuck. <laughs> So, hey, check us out there. Tell people about us if you want. Say, hey, these guys are dumb. Check them out. Bye, Bye friends. friends. We'll see you next week, dudes and dudettes. And... Mwah. It stopped, damn it.
I don't think I had my first boner probably till like 93. Yeah, it wasn't in the 80s. Surfing the internet. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. Let's hit, oh, nope, uh-uh. Not like the old day. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Did I really get you? You got my left one and it <laughs> piddled paddled into my right one. <laughs>